Good evening to all my wonderful viewers out there and welcome back to another drop list video the series where I cover all the items that are releasing in a specific week for various different streetwear brands and in today's video I'm going to be covering everything that is dropping in week six of Palace's winter 2022 collection. Yes guys, welcome back. It's that time of the week again. Time to cover the latest week, well, the latest weekly drop of Palace's latest season, which of course, as mentioned just before, is week six of their winter 2022 collection. Now, I was honestly contemplating, do I even need to make this video? Because we kind of already know what we're gonna be getting this week. <laughs> I mean, we covered it all in a streetwear talk video just recently, but uh, yeah, for this week, we're not getting any seasonal pieces. We're not getting any seasonal winter pieces in week six. No, it's purely a collab week from what I know. And what we're getting this week is the collaboration between quite obviously Palace Skateboards and Y3. Yeah, Yoji Yamamoto and Adidas. They are coming all together to release a, a collaborative drop for week six. Now, we've covered everything to do with it, as I just mentioned in a previous Streetwear Talk video, but I thought, what the hell, we might as well just go over the individual pieces again. I'll give you my thoughts and opinions again. Uh, we'll cover the release details. And I think that's week six, you know, nicely wrapped up and then we can end it there. So um, yeah, what we'll be using is the same Hypebeast article that we used in the Streetwear Talk video to cover the release details, all the individual pieces, and my thoughts and opinions on the individual pieces and week six as a whole. Uh, let's head on over to that Hypebeast article now and I'll start covering the release details for week six. All right, so here we are at the Hypebeast article that we're going to be using to cover this week six drop, or essentially this Palace Y3 collab. Uh, we've used it before, guys, but it'll be linked down in that description section below if you want to check it out. We'll quickly cover the release details for when this week six collab is dropping. So, the Palace X Y3 Fall Winter 2022. Well, it's just winter. But anyway, <laughs> not to pull them up on the technicalities here. Uh, it's set to release in store at, uh, at Palace online uh, and on the Adidas confirmed app, November 11th, 11 a.m. EDT time. So to break that down, it's releasing in Palace's online and in-store locations. For most of us in the world, it's releasing on palaceskateboards.com, 11 a.m. British standard time. It's releasing in store and online in the US on us.palaceskateboards.com. Um, and then it's also releasing on the Adidas confirmed app 11 a.m. EDD to EDT time uh, in the United States. Now it's dropping a day later on the 12th for Hong Kong and Japan. Japan is getting it in store and online. Uh, Hong Kong is getting a little dedicated pop up boutique at Harbor City. On November 12th so yeah for most of the world November 11th 11 a.m. either British Standard Time or uh, US EDT time depending on you know which time zone and which region you're copping from uh, and then Japan and China get it the day later November 12th in store and, and online for Japan and exclusive releases for China uh, if it's still confusing if you don't know what's going on comment section below or hit me up on my Instagram DMs. Some of you guys messaged me from my last Streetwear Talk video where it's dropping. I'm happy to answer them in the Instagram DMs, but come on guys, leave a comment down below. It increases the algorithm. <laughs> or, you know, you can, you can message me. It, you know, it is what it is, whatever. Um, yeah, that's the release details there, guys. That's week six drop. Friday, as always, Saturday, depending on your region. Now we'll get into the juicy stuff, which is the pieces. Let's check out these pieces once again and see how Palace, Adidas, and Yoji Yamamoto are coming together for this week six collab. Very strange premise, isn't it? Adidas, a sporting brand, Yoji Yamamoto, a fashion, a Japanese fashion designer known for his draping and like flowing silhouettes, and then Palace Skateboards. The skating brand, such different subgenres all coming together to actually make, I would say, quite a consistent and quite a fun collection here. There's some fun pieces for everyone. Uh, I really like these tracksuits, so we got these Y3 Adidas tracksuits, and to splash it with a bit of Palace branding, we got a nice little flower. Nice little flower, Palace branding on the back there. 
it's nice. I mean, it is a bit too... For me, it's a bit too much, you know, a bit too many stripes, a bit too much Y3, a bit too much branding on it, but... It does live up to everything that comes in with this collab, so it makes sense. It makes sense. Also double zipped as well, if any of you guys didn't notice. Zip up here, zip down there, so yeah, double zipped. Moving forward, it comes in a blue and a red color with a rose on the back of it. That's the color there. Uh, we've got it in a white or bone with blue stripes and a nice little flower on the back there as well. It, it's a solid tracksuit option. Next, we move into a ANRAC windbreaker. I like there's a um, weather jacket. There's a lot of different silhouettes that you could call this. Uh, it features lighter zipper detailing, darker green detailing, uh, stripes, Adidas looking stripes down on the underneaths of the arm. Uh, nothing else really on the front, but on the back. A subtle little hit, a tonal hit of Y3 with Palace featuring in the prongs of the Y. And as I mentioned in the Streetwear Talk video, they're probably, they're probably, you know, going crazy that they can't, um, you know, make an actual triangle and put the top layer in to make it a trifurc. They're like, ah, <laughs> there's no way that we could have made that a triangle. But it is what it is. It comes in green. I'm not hugely keen on that one. Moving forward, we have my favorite piece that is releasing this week. It is a souvenir jacket modeled after the, you know, like the uh, touristy Japan, uh, Japanese souvenir jackets. It features Tokyo, London on the front, features that iconic ribbing down the side of it there. On the back, uh, oh, okay. This is where it gets a little bit confusing. So this is the front of the piece, skipping forward. This is the back of the piece, which is this awesome graphic with Yoji Y3, um, a mountain which I assumed was Fuji, uh, palace, palace, palace skateboards done in like a triferg triangle there, a lion, and some other Japanese graphics. Okay, now that we've covered the front and back of the piece, imagine we're turning it inside out. This is the front of the piece turned inside out. This is the quilted design here. And of course, you know, it's an Adidas collaboration, guys. We gotta have the three stripes somewhere on the piece. It's a good way of handling it, I gotta say. Now, we've seen the front of the inverse of it. Let's check out the back. Here's the back of it. It has that same branding we just saw just before. I think it's a really good way of ticking all the boxes, you know. Um, the first lot, sorry, the first version of the jacket looked like just a Palace and Yoji collab, but then when we reverse it, the Adidas part comes out. I, I love it. It's definitely my favorite piece from the collab. I'd love to own it to wear it in this way, uh, you know, with this, this on the front and this on the back. I'd love to hear from you guys. Maybe you feel a little bit differently. Maybe you're like, nah, the reverse looks better. Let me know which one you prefer. I prefer the original and then the inverse. It's okay. I just don't think it hits as much. Anyway, moving forward. We have a coach's jacket, windbreaker, whatever you really want to call it. It features a uh, tartan design randomly scattered throughout on the arms here and there. And then just some nylon. It's it's awesome. I, I've seen some stuff like this before. Normally when they do this type of thing though, normally the tartan is outlined and it's like more distinct. Here, it kind of just looks like someone's like scraped away at the black and then there's tartan underneath, you know? It's not like clearly cut into the piece. I kind of like that look. It's a cool way of handling it. Uh, no branding on the front and on the back, it features some embroidery in that same tartan color that says Palace Y3. I think that's a good way of handling the branding. Um, it's not too loud. It's not too crazy. It's done on the back. I think that's well done. That's well done. Moving forward. Got the roses puffer jacket. This features an all over roses, I think print. Quote, you know, correct me if I'm wrong, but I think it's a print. Um, looks like these distorted roses all over the piece, all over the front and back. Uh, it can zip up the sides here and then for some reason be flipped up like this. I'm still out on that. I don't know why that can happen. Maybe if you gain a little bit too much weight and you need to relieve yourself, you can like open up the sides and let yourself expand. I don't know. Don't know what the whole reason for that was, <laughs> but you can do that. Moving forward, there's the back of it there. It can also be reversed. So simple little branding just near the zipper, red zip for the inverse, uh, and then just a Y3 hit on the back of it. I think it's cool that they have two different jacket options. If you're feeling really loud, today you can go with the roses if you're feeling a bit toned down today you can go with the y3 branding option as well it's cool that it has multiple options 
We have what's up next, a blazer with chore jacket designs and I mean I initially said that it had some feeling of a cardigan being thrown into it. I think more I think more accurately it's a chore jacket meets a blazer because it's got the four distinct pockets a chore jacket has and then it has that blazer look on the torso. The arms are very cardigan-like I would say they're not really blazer they're not really chore jacket but um yeah I think I definitely say it's more of a blazer meets a chore jacket cool piece nonetheless little flower branding on the back that's what I want to see nothing too crazy no huge palace logo here huge adidas logo here this is handled well this is a nice piece I like this piece moving forward we have some co-branded hoodies because we've got to appeal to the you know palace skateboards fanboys out there you got your trifo hoodie co-branding there and co-branding on the back no big trifog though just the y3 branding there it is in a blue with some nice red detailing i like the gradient color scheme normally they just do a solid color for this type of branding and these types of logos the gradient looks nice over the top of this soft blue color here we are we have it in a white and i like the green and blue uh the yeah green and blue coloring there there we go there very nice We've got a bone knit, features a skeleton arm coming down just the left arm. I really like this knit. It looks like a very wide silhouette, doesn't it? Look how wide that is compared to length. It honestly looks wider than it does in longer. So yeah, I definitely think that uh, if you're not ready for that, if you're you know quite a long fella, <laughs> this may uh, not, not go down to your waistline there with that one. Anyway, moving forward. We've got some football jerseys, classic. I actually like the way the graphics and everything are handled on this one. Palace branding down the sides here. Y3, Yoji Yamamoto, Triferg, Big Rose. Nice uh, coloring to it. The, Eng uh, the Rose of England, bam. Yoji Yamamoto, super distorted down the bottom there. Yeah, I mean, this is a fun uh, uh, football jersey. I think it's definitely one of the best football jerseys we've seen in a while from Palace. Um, yeah. Definitely prefer this one over the uh, Gucci ones we saw recently with Palace. Just some co-branded tees. Added our branding down the sides there. There we go there. I'm not a huge fan of the branding down the sides of the arms there. Yeah. Nah. Not for me on those. Okay, we got some sweatpants to match the tracksuit we saw at the start. So here we are here. No Palace branding on the front. Pleated design, may I say, on the legs. I pointed this out in the... Um, the streetwear talk video but it essentially grabs suit pants and then makes them sweatpants with added ass branding down the side of it <laughs> yoji couldn't help himself he's like no 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 man can't do sweatpants gotta make them suit pants but then also make them sweatpants <laughs> no it's awesome love it uh yeah pleated detailing very suit like pockets uh but quite obviously very track pant fit there little palace hit on the back just to remind you that it's still a palace collab Comes in the same colors as the tracksuit. There we go there, there we go there. We've got, I initially thought they were the same thing, but they're different pants. These are the matching pants to the blazer. Very, very wide pants here, uh, featuring some double knee detailing here. I like how the double knee detailing is handled on this piece. I think it looks really nice. I like just the square uh, pocket detailing there, drawstrings and whatnot. It's, it's a cool pair of pants. I like these pants. Moving forward, we have the track pants uh, to match the windbreaker. We have the Palace Y3 tartan ones uh, with button detailing, probably a zipper detailing here as well, and some nice pockets. It, it, they look like cool pants. These these look like cool. I like the addition of like suit detailing, or sorry, suit pants detailing to not obviously suit pants. It's it's a cool way of thinking it. We got some shoes, we got the roses featuring on this Adidas uh, Palace model, uh, Palace Y3 model here. Uh, apparently this one was dug up from the archives to release this week. Apparently this model has not been released for a while, so yeah, definitely worth it if you're interested in picking up this model. The rose looks cool on the feet. The black one is very toned down, there's barely any uh, anything to it besides maybe the hit of orangey red on the tongue. But it's, yeah, primarily just black. But uh, yeah, I'm sure a lot of Yoji fans will definitely be happy with that. Although in saying that, they probably would not wear these with any mainline Yoji fits. They would continue to wear like Margiela boots and stuff like that. There was a green color. I haven't been keen on the green stuff that's released in this collab. We got the uh, bucket hats, Y3, Alice and Adidas branding there. Comes in a red and white as well. There's some caps, Y3 Palace comes in a green 
We got Mohair, Y3, Palace, uh, Adidas, uh, well, yeah, Yoji, Palace, y, uh, Palace, Y3, <laughs> uh, Mohair, Beanie here, featuring Adidas uh, branding on the sides, Y3 branding there, and of course, Palace on the back. Kind of crazy with that one. Here's the same beanie in green. There we go again. Here's the skeleton beanie, which I thought was the same beanie as before when it, we saw the... Um, yeah, the previous black beanie, but no, I think it is a different beanie in its in its own right. We've got some sports uh, sports beanies here, or sports caps, I suppose. Um, Y3 branding, Adidas branding on the other side. There we go, Adidas Palace. And we got a bag. I really like the silhouette of the bag, I just don't like the silver. If this was in black, amazing. I love the silhouette of this whole bag. Looks nice, love it. Maybe I should look into Y3 to see if they do just some black ones, because that's a nice that's a nice silhouette for a bag, for sure. And last but not least, of course, it's a sporting brand. We've got to add some sporting accessories to it. You can get a soccer ball. But uh, yeah, that is it, guys. That is everything releasing in week three of Palace's Winter 2022 collection. It's just the Palace Skateboards Y3 collaboration, which... As you may or may not know, Y3 is Yoji Yamamoto collabing with Adidas. So this technically is a three-way collab this week. Uh, yeah, my favorite piece would have to go to uh, the souvenir jacket that's releasing this week. I think the souvenir jacket is just... I just love souvenir jackets. I want to pick up a bunch of them from Capital, but they're like dumb expensive. But uh, yeah, such an awesome piece. Where is it? it there's, there's so many pieces in this collab. Here it is. Yeah such an awesome piece yeah love it love it would love to hear your thoughts and opinions on it though guys how do you feel about this week six collab do you like it do you not like it let me know down in that comment section below well that's it covered guys that's everything releasing in week six of palace's winter 2022 collection we're just getting the collaboration with yoji yamamoto and adidas or Y3. Uh, I think it's a fun collab. I think there's a lot more fun pieces in it than the Gucci collab. Um, definitely a lot more that I'd be interested in picking up. Yeah, I don't know. I, yeah. I'm like, do I just want secondhand Yoji or would I actually pick up some Palace Y3? There's some awesome pieces nonetheless. I definitely like the Y3 collab more than the Gucci collab. That's just me though, but I'd love to hear from you guys in that comment section below if you are going to be picking anything up this Friday or um, maybe Saturday, depending on your region. What are you picking up? What are you feeling? What color, size, yada yada yada? Let me know what you're going for down in that comment section below. And of course, if you guys want to keep covering upcoming releases, upcoming Palace collabs, upcoming Palace releases, you just got to give me the three indicators I always ask you for, which is a like on this video, comment in that comment section down below and if you haven't already the best indicator of them all a subscribe to the channel as mentioned in previous videos we're trying to hit the subscriber milestone of 3490 subs before the end of november we are literally one sub off <laughs> we are at four uh, three four eight nine we are so close are we gonna hit it hopefully with your guys continuous support we can reach that milestone before the end of the month. Well, that's everything I got to say about this collab, guys. I wish you the best of luck. I hope you managed to pick up anything you're looking to pick up in the size and color you are after. But until the next Streetwear Talk video, until the next Palace video, until the next Droplist video in general, guys, I'll catch you later.